Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa. I'm addicted to luxury goods, accessories, makeup, skincare, self-care, and I'm going to rehab soon. Today we have a very exciting video. I'm going to be reviewing all of my jewelry. And if you like this kind of luxury goods review, please like and subscribe and let's get into it. Just a disclaimer, this is not by any means to show off. This is just a review for you to be able to decide which is better. I have curated this collection of jewelry jewelry since 2017 i buy from pre-owned to test i buy and sell it is like a system that i buy and sell in order to buy new stuff i sell my old stuff so this is by any means not to show off just a review for you to be able to decide and help you pick what you like so I'm gonna be doing this by category. I was gonna do this by brand, but there's a lot of comparison to talk about. So we're gonna go into categories. And the first one is necklaces and earrings. So let's start with the first one. First, we have this whole set right here. We have the Hermes in rose gold earrings like this. And this is their necklace. Let me zoom it in for you here. So here is what the necklace look like. I really enjoy this necklace right here. It is from Hermes and this one is in rose gold. I just like the whole set that it comes together. I really like to wear things in like sets. So this is both rose gold and I think for Hermes, rose gold stays like a very long time. Like it doesn't turn into yellow gold real quick. And then I also have this other jewelry I got in like a shop in New York, which I really love. It's very minimal. I do like like very small earrings because I have like sensitive ears if it's too heavy I feel like my ears will get really irritated so I do really enjoy this set together and every time I wear like rose gold earrings I always kind of match it with my rings and bracelets but I'll get into that we're gonna be talking about this first this one I always like to wear this and sometimes I layer it with a longer chain and I'll show you so what I like to do with this chain because it is shaped like this I always always like try to layer it with this longer chain this is a Thai brand and I'll link that down below but I really like how this goes together and I just always layer it or sometimes if I want a minimal look I just wear the Hermes alone but I always wear it as a pair with the earrings Next is Cartier and if you have been following me, you know I am a Cartier fan. Cartier is actually my first like ever expensive luxury jewelry brand and I actually started with a ring but here are the love necklace and the love earring. Let me zoom you in. So here is the love necklace. I chose the one without any diamonds at all because I love the minimal look as well as the earring that goes together. I really, really Really enjoy this it's lightweight it is in rose gold but I could tell you that it turns into yellow gold pretty quickly I will explain this furthermore when we get into bangles and whatnot but here it is I actually wear this one quite a lot this set right here and also the Hermes set because it's very minimal it's low-key like if you know you know I really really enjoy this <music> Next, we also have this Van Cleef and Arpel set. I am wearing the Alhambra. This is the sweet size. And for the necklace, I absolutely love this. This one is the vintage size. I picked this vintage size because when you wear it from far away, I think it looks better with like my proportion in total. I think sweet is so cute for people who are like smaller. But for me, because I have like wide shoulders, I think the vintage size is a lot better for me personally personally and then for earrings again I do not like anything that's too heavy so I do really enjoy this sweet one this is in yellow gold and with the white stone I also have the bracelet but I'll talk about it afterwards in the bracelet category but I do like to wear it as a set all together 
If you've tried any Van Cleef stuff, you'll know that this is not great with water. They don't like recommend you to wash your hands or shower with this. I have never ever showered or washed my hands or whatever with the Van Cleefs and Arpels. Compared to the Love necklace or earrings from Cartier, I have worn them in the shower before like by accident, but it's totally fine. I've also like forgot this necklace in my jeans and I washed my jeans and thank god I like hand washed it this one is completely fine I like took it out I wiped it and I was just like so surprised how good it is until now so for Cartier I think it's very durable when you want to go in the shower as well as I love bracelets I shower with it we'll get into that in the bracelet category but I do also very much enjoy this it's very dainty it is very cute it's just a more girly more sophisticated look for me when i want to be more sophisticated more ladylike i always wear this set right here Onto the white gold, this one is from Hermes. I absolutely enjoy this. I recently just got this and it has diamonds on it. I'll put a close-up shot of it. And this one, I usually wear a lot of gold and rose gold. So I really like this is white gold or as you call it, tin silver. This one is also from Van Cleves and Arpel. It's the same Alhambra in the sweet size, but this one also has diamonds on it. So I'll zoom you in. So here it is, I absolutely love love this it is very dainty and cute and it looks like good for when you want to go to like an event or something so i always wear this as a set i Again, like if I'm going to like a dinner, an evening, like an event, I always wear this with this so it looks a little bit more elevated, a little more something, just like a little bedazzle. I really enjoy this set as well. It is pretty pricey for being like Hermes, like Hermes is not known for the jewelry, but I really love their quality and I'll tell you why in the ring section, you can go straight there, I'll put a time stamp on it. Like I'm so impressed with Hermes jewelry quality. Now we're gonna go into some bangles, bracelets, watches, and also rings right here. But let's start with these bangles right here. They are all from Cartier. The first one here we have the Slim Love Bracelet in white gold. This is actually one of my first few ones and I am wearing the size 16. I absolutely enjoy this. However, I think because I've been wearing it for a while, I wear it when I shower. I take it off from time to time. I don't wear it like every single day, but it still is kind of muddy. Although I can bring this in to clean it or I can clean it myself, which I haven't gotten myself to clean it. And I enjoy this. I think it is very easy to stack it up with other things because it is very thin. And this one, I think I got it in 2019 but now the prices are so high up i don't know if it's the price right now i would get it next we have the classic size this is the love bangle and this one has four diamonds which is one two and then three four right here i still use the same size for the love bangles both are 16. i actually got the love classic size in rose gold without any diamonds that's actually my first ever like expensive luxury branded bracelet and that one i sold it in order to get this one so it's like a good money in order <laughs> to buy a new one and this one it has a lot of scratches as you can see i wear this every single day all the time when i go to bed and every single thing because this one when you take it off you need a screw to take off both sides however if you buy a slim one it is a lot easier you just twist turn this one open it up this one is actually already twisted so you can just open it up like this and close it up I really really enjoy this this is in the 
size 16 and this one it is very very hard to take off next we also have this just stay unclothed this is the nail cartier bracelet this one is also in rose gold both of these twos are in rose gold i can tell you that it is looking a bit yellow now and i absolutely enjoy this one i don't wear this all the time because it's very easy to take off if for the slim one you've seen people like kind of open it up and slide it in this one has a mechanic where you can just pop it out like this and take it off so you pop it up like this and just take it off it is very easy to lock it in it doesn't go anywhere people say that this catches on to knitwear and whatnot but because i wear this like on the inside this one kind of cover it so i don't really get this into anything whatsoever i absolutely enjoy this i do want the one with the diamonds around the head and here as well but it's just expensive i don't know if i want that yet for now i absolutely enjoy this this one i wear a size 50 15 and for the love bracelet i wear a size 16 so 15 and 16 i suggest you go down a size even for rings as well next we have here this is the hermes kelly bangle this one has a lot of diamonds on top here and this one is definitely like double the price of this one and oh my god obviously i got this one in order to get a bag but i do love and enjoy this bracelet so much i don't wear it every day but as you can see this one all of this is rose gold i don't know if you can tell that this one has the most pinkish shade this turns yellow this turns yellow so i am so impressed with hermes quality even though i don't wear this as much but i'll show you in the rings because i wear them almost equally as much as you can tell like this one is just so bedazzled i only wear it for like special events and whatnot and it is expensive but it is also very pretty and i am so impressed with the quality and this one is very easy to take off you open this up you open this and you slide it off your wrist and voila it's like this it's very easy to take in take out and i'll show you what it looks like and here is how pretty it is there's also text engraved in the back this one is in the ace h size if you want it for reference this is how you open it up very very easy just like that next we have this fan cleaves and arpels this is the sweet alhambra size in white honestly this one is the hardest one to put on alone if you have anybody with you it would be very easy but because i have to put this on my own it is very difficult but i do love the daintiness of this at first i thought i wanted like the five motifs but when i'm gonna stack it up i feel like it would be too much already for me and it also is expensive and because this one cannot get into water it's really hard to wash my hands like very often and this one i thought like if i buy this like it would go around like it would not be on top but surprisingly so far that i've worn it every day if i put it on like this it kind of stays it stays on like this so i absolutely enjoy this and this is very sentimental to me because this is the first gift like a first expensive gift i've gotten from my boyfriend and he basically told me that this would wrap up like valentine's day my birthday anniversary everything of this year which I don't mind at all because I've never received anything expensive from anyone so I am so happy and so thrilled that I got this from my boyfriend it is very pretty and I absolutely enjoy it except that it is very hard to put on if I'm alone at home but it's okay it's very pretty next we have this one from Hermes this one I absolutely enjoy this is the chain bracelet in rose gold and you can see it very clearly that it is rose gold compared to the Van Cleef's one the Van Cleef's is yellow gold and this one is a rose gold this one is a lot easier to put on it's just like this and you just need to get like the right angle to put it on so I absolutely enjoy this one as well it is very very pretty it's very dainty it goes with everything but a lot of times when I wear this one or this one, I don't really stack it with my bracelet. I put this on my right side when I don't wear any watches. So usually I would put this on this side so it has a dainty look on my right wrist because my right wrist is bigger than my left. So I want a dainty look on my right. And this is the Hermes one in rose gold. I absolutely love this so much. Let's move on to the rings. I have a lot to show you and let's start with Cartier. Cartier is my first ever brand that I went into luxury 
jewelry. The first one ever is the love bracelet in the classic size in the rose gold but as you can tell i think it has turned into yellow gold and then i'll show you some comparison with the hermes one this one i wear a size 51 and the second one i got is this white gold love in the slim size this is 51 so you can see the comparison of the thickness and i will show you when you wear it like by itself and here is the classic size by itself let me do a comparison side to side. Here is a comparison side to side. This is the classic size. This is the slim size. And another love ring that I got that is diamond pave, but this one is the smallest size. So I usually wear this in the first finger, but I'm just showing you the size. Here it is. And this one, I like to stack it. This one is the smallest size. So I'm going to show you this white gold as well this is the white gold this is in the same size in the white gold that is diamond paved and this one is the normal one as you can tell because this one is older I haven't cleaned it yet it kind of looks a little muddy but to show you the thickness when it is the same size like this part the width part is the same size but if you look at it as a ring this one is thicker this one is thinner because of the diamonds so as for your reference if you want to look at sizing this is how you look at it this one I bought in a size 51 to wear it for my middle finger or my point finger and then this one I bought a size 49 because I want to wear it on my ring finger but on my right side so usually how I wear it is that this I will wear it on this finger so I usually wear it like this not my ring finger this is how I wear like all my white gold jewelry like this this one is the Just Say Unclo in silver or white gold with the diamond pave on it. This is also the classic size. I actually wanted the slim size, but I think because in the gold one, I already have a slim size. So I got the classic size instead. So let me show you. This one is gold in the slim size. I think it's more dainty and it looks better like on my short fingers and I've gained weight so I think my fingers got a little bit fat and this one is the classic size with the diamond paved on it. So I would say if you want anything diamond paved, go for the rings first to see if you like it because the bracelet is very bedazzled and very very expensive. I mean if you're super loaded, go for it. <laughs> so here it is and I want to show you this is actually the Chanel Crush ring. I am super impressed with this because this is about the same same amount of time that I wore this and I store them in Ziploc bags all the time and just look at that this is the Chanel this is Cartier look at how the white gold the Chanel is way shinier and way lighter than the Cartier the Cartier just changed like over time I am just so impressed with like Hermes Chanel jewelry because look at that why though it shouldn't be like that but well stacking like this is really pretty so that is it for Cartier. I want to show you one more comparison. So here's the Hermes ring that I have worn so many, so many times. And this is the Cartier Love ring that I've worn so many times as well. I don't know if you can tell, but let me zoom it in for you. Hopefully you can tell. Both of these are supposed to be rose gold. This one is still quite pink. This one has turned into yellow gold. So yeah, just putting that out there for anybody who is looking for jewelry. You just need to accept it that the love or whatever that is rose gold from Cartier, it turns yellow and you can take it in to make it rose gold again. They'll make it rose gold for you because I've done that before, but over time it's going to be like that. Yep just letting you know so moving on to Hermes this is the two rings that I have right here this one is the chained something something I'll put that in the description box of what it is and this one is the newest edition with the diamonds I just absolutely love the way it looks and it goes with everything it's minimal I just love Hermes jewelry like I first I thought I only want the bags but I just fell in love with all their jewelry designs as well even though I first bought them in order to get a bag but now I just love it so much 
Last but not the least, let's talk about watches. This one is the Cartier Tank in the small size and this is just the black strap that comes with it. I actually used to wear this on my left like wrist. So let me show you. Usually before I used to wear it stacked up like this but because it just hits each other which is not great so I always move it to my right now. I always wear watches to my right wrist and this is what it looks like. It is very pretty and I just bought this in the store i know that the vintage one is also very very pretty it is a bit smaller the vintage one in gold i also love that but i just enjoy this a lot more and i wear it every day i do like the silver i wear this every single day to work to whatever it's just really really pretty last but not the least i got this cartier santos with the diamonds and it is just so pretty like i absolutely love this at first i was contemplating between the diamond one or the non-diamond one but because I already have an everyday watch I really want to have this for like events going out well going out to like you know places that I'm not gonna lose this and it is just so bedazzling it is so pretty I just super love this even though it is a bit big on me but it is very cute it is the 35 mm and look at that this is a full investment for me. I know it doesn't hold as much value as, you know, Rolex, Patek Philippe, all of those brands, but this really speaks to me. It is so pretty. I just can't with the prettiness and I only wear this when I feel like I need to. It is just amazing and pretty and this one you can adjust it i actually did this myself where you can take these off or like put more on i could do this myself very easy to put on and off so here it is and if you want a closer look here it is this is very very pretty i bought this right before the price increase last year and cartier just keeps going up and up and i know that if i sell this for like a secondhand market it won't hold as much value as all the love bracelets and whatnot but i just absolutely love it i only want to buy the things that i love so that is it for this video i hope you enjoy all the reviews of the jewelry if you like these kinds of videos please like like and subscribe and if you have any questions or comments please let me know down below i hope to see you in the next one bye